the Global Green Growth Institute, working with developing countries to achieve poverty reduction and inclusive, sustainable economic growth. Mongolia, a country rich in nature and culture, has been undergoing a transformation. For the past 20 years, the country's market economy has grown steadily but unevenly. Mongolia's development in the past 20-25 years has shown incredible growth, but not without certain side effects. The economic side of the development really took off, but the environmental and social sides did not really keep up with the economic counterpart. The reliance on fossil fuels and mineral extraction makes Mongolia vulnerable to fluctuation in commodity prices and strains its natural resources. This has brought about certain challenges, such as the growth-led urbanization. Ulaanbaatar, the capital, is a densely populated city. Eighty-five percent of these urban residents rely on coal and wood-burning stoves for heating and cooking. These stoves are the most significant source of air pollution in the city. It is estimated that 1,600 people die prematurely every year as a consequence of poor air quality. Unsustainable and insecure energy sources represent considerable risk to Mongolia's economy and are linked to the country's air pollution challenge. However, this is not the only environmental risk that Mongolia faces. The country must contend with rising annual temperatures, desertification and water scarcity. <laughs> Environmentally, it's no secret that the effects of climate change have been disproportionate here in Mongolia. Um, surface water availability is down. Over 70% of Mongolia's territory is at some stage of desertification. The average air temperature here has increased uh, over twice as rapidly as the rest of the world's average uh, in the last 60 years. If Mongolia continues to rely on mineral extraction as its primary source of energy, energy demand and greenhouse gas emissions will more than double by 2035. But the business-as-usual scenario can be avoided, and the government of Mongolia is committed to doing so. To boost sustainable development, Mongolia adopted its National Green Development Policy NGDP, in 2014 with the Global Green Growth Institute's support. GGGI is partnering with key ministries to support the NGDP through the Transition to the Green Development Project. Mongolia's transition to green development is really an opportunity. It was critical for the country to not lock itself into costly uh, and potentially harmful sources of energy, um, infrastructure that's vulnerable to climate change. Measures in the project include the development of action plans for green energy and energy efficient buildings. <laughs> Hurts so much to see me when I get a urgent assault. 
сүүл төлөөгөр шийдэх юм уу сүүл эрчим хүчээр шийдэх юм хамгийн зөв гарц ирсэн эрчим хүч GGGI will support Mongolia's transition to green energy systems for electricity and heating through research and capacity building The government is building upon this research by designing energy efficient public buildings starting with schools for which unmet demand is increasing At the same time, experiments in green heating systems are taking place in order to decrease dependence on coal and wood stoves. Wind farms are also emerging in Mongolia with the potential to eventually boost the share of energy obtained from renewable sources. За Сергей гэдэг эрчим хүчний одоо бүх талын нөөц бол манад байгаа. За нарны энерги бай. Монгол орн бол нарны гэгүүлийн хугацаа уттай. Цэнгэр тэл зэлми цэнгэр тэнгэртэй жил бол одоо чинь цаг бол за хоёр хувьлдэр бол бид салхины эрчим хүч байгаа за салхины эрчим хүч бол одоо хаа сайгүй монгол орнд бол аль ч газар бол салхины эрчим хүч хэрэгэх боломжтой энэ бол бид нэр амьдралтаар бол мэдэрч байгаа increased green investment from the public and private sectors will be vital for the project's sustainability за шүү дээрэс нь энэ одоо техникийн чиглэлээр ялангуяа хувь өвчлөлтэй хамтарч ажиллах, ялангуяа банкуудтай хамтарч ажиллах, ялангуяа Монголын банкны холбооноос гаргасан тэр ногоон зээлийн санд тэр нэлээд их тодтол өвч акцент өгч байгаа энэ чиглэл рүү бас In order to help attract private investment, GGGI will assist Mongolia to build capacity and improve coordination. With GGGI's support, this project will put Mongolia on the road to green growth. Well-designed energy efficiency measures can drive growth in the market for green energy technologies. At the same time, it can reduce harmful emissions and decrease health and environmental risks. Air quality will be improved. Energy will be made more affordable. There will be less dependence on fossil fuels and minerals. For Mongolia, this means achieving better living standards for its people and improving its environment. For the world, this means another country on the road to sustainability. So I call out to uh, my peer Mongolians, uh, businesses, in the government offices, and also to our uh, organizational, uh, international organizational partners, to really do their part to contribute to the sustainable development of Mongolia. No part is too small. With a clear way forward and with GGGI's continued support, Mongolia will achieve its green growth development goals.